Welcome to this video about build your own ISO. While I'm uh, making all these videos, I'm also completing our website. And you see, when you reload the page, what happened, what changed? We have now three elements moving here. We have Arca Linux, which is our big ISO, the one we started with. Actually, the merger, remember, Arch merge, the merger of three desktops on the one ISO. But we're going far beyond that. We have now Arch Linux D, which is the minimal one. So it's uh, getting into a terminal, ending in a terminal, and then you install uh, Openbox, XFC, and so on. This is a video about Arch Linux B. It starts with the scripts and it ends with an ISO. That's something different. It's explained here in the vision, and it's tried in this infographic that I try to make it shows you that we start here with a script and then we end up with a Arch Linux B, awesome, GNOME, XFCE, BSP, Xmonad, Plasma, whatever desktop will visit, it can be put on an ISO, you burn it on a USB and you have your system. That's the idea. If all of this is too difficult, and we're going to make i3 now, if all of this is too difficult, remember there is also the Source Forge Community Editions. It means that we try the scripts out and when the ISO is built, well, we put it just uh, online here so you can get a taste for, from, uh, well, well, while downloading this and installing this, you get a taste. And if you say, okay, this is something for me, you can build it yourself and maybe, maybe decide to change also the packages. So. It all boils down to what do you want to have on the ISO? Uh, do you want to have uh, OpenOffice or do you want to have Steam and so on? You can add applications to or uh, delete applications from packages both, burn it, you have an ISO and then you install it. Right, what's the procedure? Always the same. Git clone a specific GitHub. You can take a look at the GitHub here and you'll see that we have now four desktops and we'll make more desktops because we have more possibilities already available. We just need time, that's it. So we are going to go to our desktop. Desktop is fine, it's clean. Open terminal here, Control shift v Git clone me everything from there, that's it. Then we open this here, installation scripts, and right mouse click open terminal here we enter 30 we say what our password is deleting the builder folder if the build folder quote if one exists yes one did exist i've created xfce open box and now i'm creating i3 so yes it takes some time so i put it in the echo that it takes some time you have to wait for it so it's going to the motion to the faces and basically you have to say yes, yes, and again, a yes, or else everything stops. So now you can walk away. These things will be uh, installed and the end result is an ISO. Where is this ISO going to pop up? We have now on your system an Arco Linux B built. So in here, He's working very hard to make your ISO and we'll show you later where it's going to be. Let's wait for this to finish. Right, Arch Linux B i3 has been created. Let's have a look. It's in out. Here is the Arch Linux B version. And what I'll do is I'll copy paste it to my documents. Otherwise, when we build something again, it's overwritten. So now it's saved in our documents in here. You'll get an Arch Linux B folder. And this is the version of 0602. So this is the one you need to test out in VirtualBox. You like the settings. You mean I mean by that the settings in packages both. Then you can burn it on USB and put it on your machine. So basically, this is the end of the tutorial. Have fun with Arch Linux.